Good morning, everyone. Today, we are going to talk about how AI agents can transform the way we handle GRC issues. We will start from the problem, then we'll see the manual effort we do as of today. Then we see how ServiceNow AI agent changes that effort. And finally, we will calculate the savings and the rollout plan. I am Rajesh Singh, working in IT for 20 years and for the last 12 plus years in ServiceNow. I've implemented solutions for different industries across the geography, ban banking, public sectors, healthcare, and many more. I've been working on ServiceNow AI agent use cases recently. I'll walk you through a real example of how AI reduces GRC issues or solutions effort by more than 85%. Let's understand first the situation today. Resolving a GRC issue involves many steps. Searching for information, checking policies, collecting evidence, preparing action plans, creating tasks, and finally closing it. Most of these steps are manual and repetitive. This is where we lose time. Now, with AI agent, isn't it great? And what and when that happens, we save time, we save a cost, and we also make the output consistent and clean. Now, before using an AI agent, we need to prepare a few things. That's what we see in our next slide. First, we need a Yokohama release or later. That's because AI agent features are available only for this version. Second, risk work workspace should be enabled. This gives us one place to see all the risk issues and tasks. Third, we should have now assist and AI agent framework activated. This is the core AI capability we are going to use. Finally, our GRC issues module should have some historical issues records because AI learns from past data to make a good decision. Once these are ready, we can see who and what is involved in this process. Now in this slide, we have two things, the people involved and the AI agents involved. The main persona here is QSA about for this demo and it was a risk manager. She will own the issue and drive it to the closer. And now there are two AI agents that will help her. Issue action plan generator. This creates the first draft of a plan by looking at controls, history, and policy. And the second one is remediation task creator. This takes the plan and breaks it into task, remediation task. Today, without the AI, customer face a few common pain which we call it as pain points. They also send a same type of status update to multiple stakeholders manually. They create an assigned remediation task one by one, which is slow, and they switch between a modules to find the policies and mapping. And this is exactly where AI agent can save us a lot of time. Now let's break this down into exact hours. Investigation takes about 2.3 hours. This is mostly searching for controls, ev evidence, and past cases. Documentation takes about 1.2 hours. This is preparing the mitigation strategies, aligning with frameworks, and finalizing the plan. Communication and remediation takes another 1.2 hours. This is creating tasks, assigning owners, sending updates, switching between the modules. When we add this up, it's about total is 4.7 hours per issue. So 2.3 plus 1.2 plus 1.2. Now let's see what happens when an AI takes over this most of this work. 0.3, 10 minutes. Documentation goes from 1.2 hours to 10 minutes because AI drafts the plan and we just review it. Communication and remediation also drops from 1.2 hours to 10 minutes because AI creates an assigned task item. So 4.7, that's a saving of 4.2 hours per issue. Now. I will show you exactly how this works in the demo. In this demo, I'll take a simple issue and run it through a AI agent workflow. We'll open the AI panel, now says panel, panel, ask it to generate the action plan, review it, then create a remediation task and link them back to the issue. You will see how everything stays in one place. And the only work we do is quick review. Now let's see step by step. For this demo, we'll quickly start with configuring our AI agents. For that, we have to go to AI agent, click on overview, go to create and manage, go to 
AI agents and search for two AI agents. One is issue action plan. Action plan AI agent. What you have to do is very quickly you have to copy this one. You should not attach the out of box one. So let's copy, duplicate it, and we will configure this one. You don't have to do anything, which is very straightforward. Unless and until you want to change few things, few parameters, few conditions, or you want to add or remove anything, then yes. But in out of box, you don't need to change anything. Just go ahead. You have a ready made tool you already have the tools in out of box what it does is first is it get the issue detail using this tool and then it search for a similar issue records and then it creates a action plan ai agent save and continue existing trigger it will be empty because we are going to do manually you can also put uh, your trigger saying that if the record get created right or record is in in progress state then you trigger this trigger but in my in my condition in my demo i'm going to just keep it very manually and here i don't want it to virtual agent that's it i'll you don't have to touch anything guys save and test you're done with the first one ensure your ai agent is saved as a copy now we'll go to the other one other one is remediation task ai agent we're going to quickly search for this and we're going to create a copy, configure it, and then we'll go. All right. So here, remediation. <coughs> remediation task AI agent. I'll quickly copy, duplicate it. Same way what we have done it for the previous AI agent uh, changes. You can do it here. Otherwise, I want to keep it simple. Now here we have a tool, a flow action tool, which it says it takes details. Let's look into this one. What are the tools? It basically, it creates a remediation task using short description, description, and society. We'll keep it out of box. And the trigger condition is again empty. We'll run it manually. And here status is always active. Virtual agent, I don't want to because I want to restrict it to only for the full fillers. Virtual agent is mostly for the end users. So save and continue. That's it. We have configured uh, two AI agents. Now we'll see how to how to play around with this use case. Now what, for that, what I need to do is I need to quickly impersonate as Grace about, and then we'll see how Grace about is a risk manager. Will be the person who's going to handle the issue. So let's see what what, what happens. Click. Impossible. Now I log in as a Grace about, and this is a risk work workspace, and we'll see where where is the issue is. Here, here is the issue. Now, issue is vulnerability impacting confidentiality of a critical business services due to indicator failure. Now, let's understand at a very high level what is the issue and what are these components in GRC, right, or in IRM, issue is a record of a problem, gap, or a risk that needs to be fixed to meet a security compliance or operational standards. It can come from various sources, failed indicators. Indicators, remember, what is that? It is a automated check. It, it's, it's basically a configuration which you do it on a data points. Then we, it can le uh, come from security incidents. It can come from an audit findings. It can from come from an attestations or assessments, right? So, Issues can generate from various sources. Issue get automatically created when indicator fails. For example, SSL certificate expiry check fails. It can be also created manually by a, a risk or compliance managers, or it can be also come. It can come from an uh, integration from other tools. CM CM tools detect the security gap, right? I'll take a very simple example before going to this one. Uh, for example, SSL certificate for this company, uh, www.company.com expired uh, expired on expired yesterday for example now the control monitoring job right the indicators detect uh, or detect and it's the it sent a message uh, created an issue saying that it got it impact it got expired and then the business impact is obviously we, we know that what is the impact of this uh, expired system the security warning from customers non-compliance check and uh, the, uh, we will lose the trust and all these things so that's an issue now it has components that is 
issue has an action plan. The action plan is basically high level strategy or a game plan to resolve an issue. It describes what need to be done, in what order, and who should be responsible. For example, uh, here in if a SSL got expired, in this example, I'll say that action plan is uh, renew the SSL certificate from the approved vendor, install the certificate on the production server, test the secure connection and update the CMDB with the new expiry date. That's a simple action plan. Now, how the service now here, AI agent generates that? You very logically, if you see the AI agent, which we have done, AI agent basically reads the category description. It's related controls. Let me open this one. You will understand. See, it, it, it reads this related entity, it reads the entities, ways, can related controls and all those details. And it also search for similar past issues, resolved issues, right? With the same similar characteristics. It also checks for knowledge based documents or other policies compliance documents, right? Then it proposed a step by step uh, uh, structured plan, which is which we call it as an action plan. Here, here you see that action plan. Right now it is in it is it is in analyze state we are going to analyze it and we'll see how the action plan get generated please understand what is the action plan in gen, in simple language we'll quickly go here to our analysis panel and we'll say now since i said you remember i said manual trigger there i did it a very manual trigger so i'll just put it here generate a grc issue action plan it says hi grace how can i help you with blah 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 and i'll ask them to please generate a issue action plan it is generating it. It's asking for, please let us know the action issue number. Now it is generating an action plan. Look, it is for this particular issue, the action plan is to identify the root cause of a vulnerability, assess the impact of, of the vulnerability on the organization and develop a remediation plan to address the vulnerability, implement the remediation plan, monitor and review the effectiveness of the remediation plan. Now, this generated action plan is based on the similar issues, previous similar issues. Are you satisfied with this action plan? Yes, no, or, do, or you want to edit or something? I will just say yes, accept. Now, if you see, your action plan was previously empty. Now it got updated, right? Now, if you see, it also generated, triggered the remediation task. You remember we have done a two AI agent we have activated. One is the issue action plan. Another one is remediation task action plan. Now, it's, since I accepted the action plan, it automatically triggered the remediation task as well. Now, what are the remediation tasks? Based on the action plan, once the action plan we accepted, it generated two remediation tasks. One is Assess the impact of vulnerability on the organization. Develop a remediation plan to address the vulnerability. Now, and along with its details. Uh, let's understand what is a remediation task. Remediation task is a specific trackable work item that derived from the action plan. It is an action actionable to do uh, item assigned to a team or an individual. And here, how AI agent create a action plan is it breaks the task record with title, description, linked issues, priority, and, and then it creates an action plan. Now, if you see our action plan is here, where is remediation task here? But did we accept that? No. Until we accept it, it will not gonna create it. It says here is the list of tasks created. Here is the task got created. Now, this assigned to is empty. You can go one step ahead and you can also do a auto assignment of this emission task to a respective team members using assignment rules. Here you're doing end to end automation of an issue record from issue creation till remediation assignment. Isn't it a beautiful journey? Isn't it we see a, a lot of savings here? This is a breakdown of work between AI agent and the user. Out of the total process, AI agent does about 82% of the work automatically. Application takes 
the user part is about 8% review adjust and final close think about this the system creates our role shifts from do everything manually to just validate and approve this is why we get such a big time saving next we will see what is this saving means in cost terms now here is where the numbers become interesting let's take a small medium and large teams in case some companies has a small issue management team small uh, some has a me medium and some has a large in the small team ai frees up to almost 1.6 full time people worth of effort how do you say that in the previous slide we saw 82% is handled by ai so 1.6 in medium you see 3.3 fte and in large team you see it is 6.6 .6 fte now if you multiply your fte with a resource whose salary is 100k annual salary 100k then you will get this much amount of 100 for the small team for the, uh, if the annual uh, if the salary of the resource is 100k then you are saving this much for 130k you are saving this much for 160k you are saving this much similarly for the large teams 6.6 .6, if you see the large team and the annual savings is around 160 uh, your salary is 160k per resource then you are saving almost a 1 million and remember this is only for grc issue resolution if we expand ai to other areas the saving multiplies now let's see how ai agent compares to onshore and offshore models let's see the other angle of it onshore is good for complex cases but expensive and limited to the local hours offshore is cheaper but you may have time zone delays and some context gap ai works 24 by 7 and it doesn't have that onshore and offshore contextual issues and all those things cost is almost nothing but the cost is nothing compared to a person see if the onshore cost is 100 dollar per hour if it is onshore is 100 then the offshore would be somewhere around 25 to 40 and your ai agent cost will fall around per hour cost will be 0.71 look at the big difference the value for money automated and off uh, and 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 then and, and it's cheaper too right because their productivity is higher they don't take a break they don't take uh, breaks every you know longer breaks they work 24 by 7. so that's that's a big difference of ai, AI agent and onshore offshore model now now use offshore okay now here so cost is almost nothing when you can say ai for the ai agent compared to a person offshore or onshore and it never gets tired so the best model is ai agent but there is a question that ai agent can't be a uh, can't take over the 100 percent it can create an hallucination all these things then which is the best model the best model is hybrid approach ai plus offshore or onshore you put all repetitive tasks or automate uh, a task to ai and put less resources in offshore okay and let the ai handle all the repetitive work from uh, all repetitive work and the best uh, now finally let's see how to roll this out step by step you know kind of roadmap with we start with q1 preparation uh, get the data ready i mean knowledge documents past issues data quality set guardrails define success metrics in q2 pilot we pick around four to five issue types target the quick wins and measure the results and ensure data quality remain as per the standards in q3 expand to cover the top 50 to 60 percent of issues volume and ensure the data quality remains as per the standard in q4 you do a rollout and stabilize that means you reach to a steady state and add more content sources and track the roi and with that we are fully ready for adoption thank you for your time today I hope you saw how AI agent makes issue management easy. Stay tuned for more. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel now AI Minute. See you in next video. Bye.